Hi everyone, my name is Anton and welcome to my channel where I talk about different development ports for AI. Well, well, well. Today we have Orange Pi RV2, a board that was recently released and marketed as AI capable device. But is this really what it's claimed to be? Let's dive in and check if it's like the real board for AI or just another scum board. So let's start with a few basics. First of all, uh, the price. The model I have here is 8 GB and it costs around $49, excluding shipping and tax. Cheaper version costs around $30, uh, which is very affordable for the such boards with this CPU power. For this price, you get RISC V architecture. Two M2 slots, three USB 3.0 slots, 26 IPO pins, HDMI, dual Ethernet with five support, USB A power input, EMC storage, like everything you need almost that will be in this board, and it's pretty cheap. The Orange Pi RV2 is heavily advertised as an AI development board. Accordingly to the official documentation, it has an 8-core RISC-V AI CPU delivering two tops CPU fusions for general purpose computing. And I believe it's like the first strange place here. Typically, when manufacturers mention tops nowadays, they refer to dedicated AI accelerators like NPU and not CPU. Of course, like there is maybe Jetson where TOPS is summary for GPU boards and DLA cores, but even they didn't include CPU in this total sum of power. Actually, the strategy worked for them. Many third party sources even incorrectly claimed that the board has features for as NPU. But on Orange Pi official site, they don't say this. I'll admit I also was a little bit misled when I assumed that it should have NPU. It doesn't. Despite the misleading marketing, the board con surprisingly good amount of AI related documentation. This part also was like a little bit misleading. All this documentation is focused on LLMs. You won't find pre-configured example for basic computer vision tasks, which is usually for such boards. Orange P provides an ONNX runtime Gen AI environment with what appeared to be custom runtime support. Initially, I thought it will work on NPU, but of course it don't, so it's not a problem to build such library for RISC-V, even though on Linux runtime is installed system wide. I experimented with this. I didn't notice any special optimization. It may include a few tweaks for Risk Five, but definitely nothing like magic. I decided to start from basic neural networks. I started like from Yolo V5 into resolution because I have this measurement for lots of boards and Resonate 18. And actually, it was super slow. Yolo V5 200. 24 on 224, it's 170 milliseconds per frame. Yolo V5 uh, 640 on 640, uh, one second, 130 uh, milliseconds per frame, and ResNet 18, 240 milliseconds per frame, like four frames per second for classification. It's very slow for anything AI related. For comparison, here is like a small list on a few different boards, like some of them with NPU, some of them with CPU. But as you can see, like uh, it's better to take maybe some rock chip based board um, or even like officially Raspberry Pi 4 or 5 and they all will be compatible. Uh, let's also check LLM inference because it's what was initially claimed. I checked uh, a few different neural network. It's Quen 0.5b, uh, Quen 
1.5b and a few more. Here it's like the first list, uh, the full list. And as you can see, it's like, of course, you cannot use like with 0.5b for some tasks, but really, you just can take Raspberry Pi 5, which will be faster. Why do you need to bother with Risk 5 platform? Or you can take like some boards in this in the same price with that where definitely Halo will work. I'm not sure that here on the Risk 5 system Halo will work. So it's a little bit question even for LLM. Do you really need to use this board? Also, one strange point here it's about the board design itself because here it's like USB Type C power and they ask not to use more than 5 watts, so it's used only the slowest uh, power mode here. And I don't know, like, it's look a little bit strange uh, b because it's fine in uh, most cases, but if you really will put here to M2 stick and will run like something on full CPU usage, I'm not sure that the lowest mods for USB Type-C will support this. It's pretty energy consuming usually. Also, let me a little bit speak about conspirology here. This RISC-V board has PYX1 processor. There is no mention in, in internet like which processor is this. On Reddit there is a thread where people trying to find the company that was uh, produced it. But when you do doing your installation, I, I think I was the second guy in the internet who found this. I Here it's like the other, link, uh, the other example. During the installation there is a lot of Huawei repos for different libraries and codes that were connected. Mm, maybe it's like an error because Orange Pi also has Huawei board. Maybe they just reutilized something they already had. But maybe this processor somehow is related to Huawei, which m will make it like a subject of ban in a lot of countries. So I don't know really. A little bit of conspiracy off. So let's summarize. Super affordable. Good I.O. Mm, and like good peripheral connections. Pretty nice documentation. Mm, still rare Risk V platform if you want to experiment with this. But no real NPU. Poor performance for AI tasks, which is like in in the title of this board. Flower LLM inference. USB Type C power li line. So, uh, if you're looking for an actual AI edge device, this board isn't for you. It's simply a RISC 5 TBC board with distance spec and AI flower market. That said, it's still a fun board to experiment with, especially for LLM, but not for any real time.